What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping in. On today's episode, we're going to talk about 10 or so gift ideas for the DJ or musician or even small business owner in your life. Or uh, 10 ideas for yourself. If you're going to be shopping for yourself this year, getting into the holiday spirit, everyone feels like they need to buy someone something. So if you find something in this list that you like, be sure to go down to the comment section or the description of the video. I'm going to have purchase links to all of this stuff. Everything on this list will range somewhere in between 10 to 100 bucks. Starting off, the first two items I want to get into is something I actually have on my body right now. As you can see, today I'm wearing my Crown Entertainment Company polo. This is a simple 10 to $15 polo that I bought off of Amazon. And what you can do for your friend or loved one is take it to a local embroidery shop. Nine times out of 10, they can get stuff out pretty fast. Let's say a three to four or five day turnaround as long as you have a, a PNG of the logo, they can do it pretty quick. And generally it's pretty cheap. I suggest going with the embroidered because it does give a pretty professional appearance and this stuff isn't gonna wear off over time. More often than not, when you go to a screen printing shop, it's gonna be a lot more expensive unless you buy in bulk. That's really kind of how they make their money. So with an embroidered item, I think it looks better and it's probably gonna cost you a lot less money too. For number nine, check out my hat. It's by a company called Holtz Leather Co. Uh, I found them online while browsing on Facebook, clicked on their website. They have a huge catalog of stuff you can buy. Now this hat here uh, starts out, I believe at 26 or 27 bucks. Um, it looks very cool. I've gotten a lot of compliments on this hat. It's a Richardson uh, 112 trucker style hat. You can also get different styles, I do believe, but it's a good quality hat. It fits nice and I can't tell you how many compliments I've gotten on this very hat it's just like the polo it makes you look professional even when you know you're just hanging out in a hat I really like it it's become a, a mainstay I wear you know a hat like this just about every day number eight on the list is the new mark DJ to go to this is a super ultra portable DJ controller that's great for a backup or the starting piece to a beginner DJ rig. Especially if you're buying this for a sibling or someone uh, that's not super into the industry yet or maybe even your child, this would be the first step to get them really interested in the craft. And before you drop a lot of money on, let's say a thousand dollar controller, this could be the piece that you buy to get them started. I've been browsing some of the Facebook groups online and this thing seems to be uh, really a good bang for the buck. Um, some people are using this for their ceremony rig or as a great backup or practice rig uh, where you don't need something huge or uh, big and bulky to get your practice on. You could even use this in an airport mixing through your headphones. Now while we're on the subject of practice, number seven on the gift giving idea list are Mackie CR3 monitors. The reason why I toss these in the list is because although it's nice to practice with headphones or you can even set up your DJ rig at the house to practice through it's always nice to be able to set something up and leave it there something that you're not going to take out on the gig with you that way when you get back home you can either uh, set your laptop up whether if you're a musician or you can set your DJ rig up and play through these uh, and not have to worry about taking your full rig up and down now these monitors have a quarter inch and RCA input that means you can plug your uh, music source whether it's a controller or a computer whatever you have directly into the speakers. Now you might say that these aren't the best but again um, they're gonna be a really good solution if you don't have something set up full-time. Judging by the reviews on Amazon they've got a little over 1700 reviews with a four-star rating. Um, I would say they're gonna be good enough for most situations. Uh, they do offer a three, four, and five inch option so if you're looking for something a little bit nicer you might go for the five inch. It might have a little bit more bass note and bass response to it but the three inch is definitely gonna be something that's budget friendly. Now number six is going to be a little bit unorthodox, probably for someone that's not in the entertainment industry, but I can assure you that I have one of these cables and it gets used all the time. I like to call it an Adatap. That means it's got multiple outlets in one extension cable. What this is gonna be good for is if you're in a band, you can plug in a lot of your backline power, such as your amps, your guitar pedals, things of that nature. You can string this across the front, the back, or the middle of the stage and plug everybody in, have everybody covered. If you're a DJ, 
day and you have non-battery powered up lights, you're gonna be able to string this along one wall and plug in multiple LED up lights. You can use this cable inside of your trussing. You can put one cable in the truss, plug in multiple LED fixtures, and simply have everything powered off one line instead of sending up a dozen or so extension cables. Now I do want to point out that this is a 14.3 cable. That means you're not wanting to plug in a whole bunch of stuff that's got a lot of power draw, mainly LED up lights or lightweight uh, amps for instruments or pedals, things of that nature. You don't want to overload this cable. I use my cables on my live event production uh, all the time and they always get used. They always come in handy. So number six is a 50 or 32 foot. It's called a backline power extension cable. I like to call them an out of tap. Now we can't talk about cable without talking about picking up a good cable tester. This is something you should probably have inside of your jump box or your work box, whatever you take with you on the road. This is gonna save you a lot of time and headache if you're not getting the correct signal flow from one point to the other. You can hook up one end, test it right there on the spot. If it's a bad cable, you can tie it up, put it to the side and leave it for repair once you get back home or you can just toss the cable away if it's not worth the hassle. I can assure you that a good cable tester is going to save you lots of time and money, especially when troubleshooting. The one that we're looking at today can test a lot of things. It can test NL4 cable, RJ45, which is Ethernet, or Cat5, Cat6, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it can even do USB, which is kind of surprising. A lot of these cable testers don't even get up to USB. It also does your typical 3 and 5 pin XLRs for doing um, audio cable or DMX. Um, MIDI cable, which a lot of people don't hardly use anymore, but you can test it if you've got it. Also, RCA and TRS cable, a really good all-around cable tester. Um, it's a great value, it's got good reviews, and it's pretty cheap. A great gift idea for the musician or DJ in your life. Now next up on the list is an Alto Bluetooth XLR receiver. I thought this would be a great idea for musicians and DJs both. For DJs, let's say you want to have something playing in another room, a cocktail room or in a front room, something that's not super mission critical to getting your job done. You can hook up your iPad or old iPhone, whatever, to a speaker directly into the speaker and put it where you need to uh, and not have any wires. That's a good thing. Going totally wireless is really the way to go now. Something like this is going to work out great for rentals, even um, for musicians. If you want to play along to some backing tracks, let's say you're at a coffee shop or something like that, and you want to have total control of what's coming out, uh, this would be a good idea for you. The thing that's cool about these is you can hook them up and have in stereo. So you can hook two up and play them at the same time uh, from speaker left and speaker right. The reviews on it are pretty good. I will say with any Bluetooth item, you're probably gonna have to be pretty close to it, but uh, this might be a good idea for a musician in your life. Number three on the list, Sure SM58. The SM58 is by far, uh, hands and above, the most requested mic, period. It's probably the most manufactured mic. Um, it is the industry standard for a reason. They are super tough. Uh, you can beat up on them. Um, they sound good. They're flat, so they're easy to EQ and tune. Um, as you're building your inventory of microphones, the Shure SM58 needs to be one of the first microphone purchases that you buy. With the SM58, you can either buy it switched or not non-switched, either or is gonna work out fine. Uh, they both sound exactly the same. I'd say if you're a musician or a DJ, it might be best to go for the switched model. That way you have total on and off control right there at the microphone. Um, but SM58, it, you really don't have to say much about it. It's a great gift idea. It's gonna get used no matter who you give it to, uh, and they're cheap. So uh, that's number three, the Shure SM58. Now number two on the list are the ATH MH40s by Audio. Technica. This is a great budget-friendly studio quality headphone monitors for any musician or DJ. These are going to work out great. 
I actually have the Bigger Brothers, which are the 50s, um, but the 40s I've heard and they sound fantastic. You can use these for a multitude of reasons, whether it's using in the studio to uh, mix down your files that you've recorded on your computer, whether you need a monitor headphone while you're actually recording, or whether you're a DJ mixing live, these provide great sound isolation. Um, headphones, guys, are super important. Please don't skimp out when shopping for headphones in particular over the ear headphones. Earbuds you can go a little bit cheaper with, but when going with a quality over the ear headphones, I suggest these. Like I said before, I actually own a pair of the 50s. The 40s, however, are a great starting point. Now, last up on the list is the Mega Par Profile Plus by American DJ. This is gonna give you the ability to mix red, green, blue, and some UVs. Now, I don't care if you're a DJ only or a musician, lighting makes the difference in just about any performance. So adding a couple of these to your show really could enhance your performance, whether it be uh, playing for a crowd of music or at a wedding or private party. The good thing about the LED pars from American DJ is you can daisy chain them uh, via power, you can DMX them so you can really create some awesome light shows. Uh, it's all around a really good gift for any of your musician or DJ friends or family. Now that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope that something in this list caught your attention and might push you in the right direction when shopping for your musician or DJ friend or family. Now all of this stuff on the list today is $100 or less, but this is just to spark some ideas. Every item on this list generally has a better version Version of it that might cost you a little bit more money but you might get a little bit more out of it so if you've got the money just check around and see what else is out there I tried to make this as universal as possible that way it doesn't matter if you're a DJ or a musician or just a performer any of this stuff can really help you out and cater to you if you've got some great gift ideas for this year's holiday season be sure to leave them down in the comment section below so everybody can see it that's gonna be all for this episode thank you so much for making it this far but before you get out of here be sure to subscribe to the channel we are going to be doing a big giveaway once we hit the 5,000 subscriber mark which looks like it might just happen before we get to Christmas a lot of details on that are still to come once you hit the subscribe button be sure to hit the notification bell that way you know every time I post which for the next 20 or so odd days before Christmas is going to be every single day. Be sure to follow me on all social media at DJ Woopig is where you can find me. If you got any questions, send me an email at djwoopig at gmail.com. As always, don't call me. I had somebody call me today. I keep saying it and y'all keep doing it. Stop. Stop calling me. But you can email me, djwoopig at gmail.com. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow later this season and Santa Claus is coming down the Christmas snow is white on the ground when old Santa gets into town he'll be coming down the chimney down it's the holiday season and Santa